As the enigmatic CEO of SpaceX, Musk has captivated the world's attention with his audacious vision for interplanetary travel and colonization. Continuing to break barriers and challenge the status quo, Musk recently unveiled groundbreaking challenges that are set to revolutionize SpaceX's Starship. The company's colossal spacecraft designed for ambitious missions to the Moon, Mars and beyond. The extent of the changes being made to the Starship is nothing short of revolutionary. With an unwavering determination to address the challenges posed by long-duration space journeys, Musk and his team of brilliant engineers have reimagined key aspects of the spacecraft's design and functionality. Their objective? To enhance reliability, efficiency, and ultimately, to make humanity a multi-planetary species. The evolution of SpaceX's Starship is indeed taking place at the Boca Chica facility. Construction of the Starship factory has entered a new phase, indicating significant progress in the development of the Starship spacecraft. This advancement has garnered attention and sparked excitement in the space industry. Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX, has made noteworthy comments regarding the future of the Starship platform. On May 13th, Musk acknowledged the development of a third variant of the SpaceX Raptor engine. He revealed that the Raptor V3 engine has undergone a successful test firing, demonstrating improved performance compared to its predecessor, the Raptor V2. The Raptor V3 achieved a remarkable 350 bar of pressure and 269 tons of thrust, surpassing the capabilities of the previous engines. The rationale behind the development of even stronger engines lies in SpaceX's plans to launch significantly heavier payloads into orbit. Musk confirmed this hypothesis on May 24th, responding to a comparison video between Starship and the Soviet N-1 rocket. He stated that the Starship's payload capacity in its expendable mode is expected to be between 250 and 300 tons to orbit. This payload capacity is much higher than the current rating of 150 tons for fully reusable configurations. To enable its increased payload capacity, the improved thrust of the Raptor V3 engine is crucial. It is estimated that with these new engines, the Starship could potentially handle a liftoff mass of about 6,000 tons, which is 1,000 tons more than the current configurations allow. This additional mass would accommodate the extra fuel required for the increased payload capacity, as well as the larger fuel tanks and the overall size increase of the rocket. The enhanced capabilities of the Starship have implications for various applications in space exploration. SpaceX could potentially transport heavier objects such as larger station parts, bigger scientific equipment, and specialized Starship variants like fuel-filled versions for use as floating gas stations or longer-duration habitation modules. These advancements also have relevance to future lunar missions such as NASA's Artemis program. SpaceX's ability to transport extra fuel for the Artemis 3 lunar lander could provide additional flexibility and options for the mission's success. Considering the timeline, the Starship lander for Artemis 3 is scheduled to launch in 2025. This tight deadline means that SpaceX has limited time to not only make the Starship operational, but also develop a variant specifically for the lunar landing. Prototype parts for the lunar lander should be under development soon, as SpaceX aims to meet the ambitious schedule set by NASA. SpaceX's Starship is not currently slated to be the lander for NASA's Artemis 3 lunar mission. It is true that Starship has been proposed as a potential lunar lander for future Artemis missions. If Starships were to be selected for Artemis 3 or subsequent missions, the upgrades mentioned would indeed offer several advantages for crewed lunar surface operations. Increased payload capacity Starship's larger payload capacity compared to other lunar lander options would enable the delivery of more equipment, supplies, and scientific instruments to the lunar surface. This would allow for expanded mission capabilities, including the ability to carry larger habitats, rovers, or other infrastructure needed for extended crew stays or scientific exploration. Additional Fuel Storage Starship's design incorporates large propellant tanks capable of carrying a significant amount of fuel, such as liquid oxygen and liquid methane. This increased fuel storage capacity would provide essential flexibility for lunar surface operations. It would allow for longer missions, the ability to perform more extensive maneuvers, and potentially enable the return of larger payloads or a greater number of crew members back to Earth. Flexibility the combination of increased payload capacity and additional fuel storage in Starship would provide mission planners with greater flexibility in designing crewed lunar surface operations. It would allow for the transportation of a diverse range of equipment and resources, accommodating various mission objectives, including scientific research, resource utilization, or the establishment of a sustainable presence on the Moon. In parallel with the progress in the Starship's design, construction work is continuing at the SpaceX Boca Chica launch facility. The site has been undergoing constant construction since 2019, with the addition of various facilities to support the design and the construction of Starship prototypes. The construction of the Star Factory, a permanent structure to assemble the world's largest rocket, is also underway. 
This 300,000 square foot building will house the assembly of numerous super heavy boosters and Starship vehicles. Aerial photography reveals that the initial footings and foundation pads have been poured, signifying progress in the construction process. The construction of the Star Factory is expected to accelerate once the older structures on the site are cleared. The Star Factory's primary purpose is to provide an advanced assembly facility capable of simultaneously constructing multiple vehicles under one roof. This streamlined approach improves efficiency and allows for concurrent testing and integration processes. With the Star Factory, SpaceX demonstrates its long-term commitment to the development and production of the Starship and Super Heavy, moving away from temporary facilities towards a stable and more sustainable production environment. Recent progress includes completing the initial groundwork, such as Phase 1 footings and foundation pads. These essential steps lay the foundation for subsequent construction phases involving erecting the steel structure and equipping the facility with the necessary infrastructure. By scaling up production capabilities, SpaceX aligns with its ambitious goals of rapid Starship development and future crewed missions to Mars. The Star Factory enables streamlined operations, increased efficiency and the simultaneous assembly of multiple vehicles, supporting SpaceX's plan for large-scale production and extensive space exploration endeavors. If you are liking the video so far, make sure to subscribe to the channel. The evolving capabilities of Starship have attracted the attention of satellite startups. Like K2 are seizing the opportunities presented by SpaceX's Starship and its unmatched lift capabilities. These companies recognize that Starship's ability to carry large payloads to space opens up new avenues for innovation and development. In particular, K2 is focused on capitalizing on Starship's potential to revolutionize the deployment of massive satellites. Satellite buses are an essential component of satellite systems, providing the necessary infrastructure and functionality for satellites to operate in space. Traditional satellite buses are limited by the size and weight constraints of existing launch vehicles. With Starship's unprecedented payload capacity, K2 sees the potential to develop satellite buses that can efficiently transport larger satellites to their intended destinations. By leveraging Starship's capabilities, K2 aims to address the challenges of affordable and efficient deployment of massive payloads. The reduced launch costs offered by Starship can significantly lower the barriers to entry for satellite operators and facilitate the deployment of larger, more capable satellites. This, in turn, opens up new possibilities for various space exploration initiatives and applications, such as advanced Earth observation, communications, scientific research, and more. K2's recognition of Starship as a game-changer stems from its understanding that affordable access to space with increased payload capacity can transform the satellite industry. By harnessing the potential of Starship, K2 and other startups are poised to disrupt the market by offering innovative solutions that were previously unfeasible or economically challenging. Following the test launch of the Starship Heavy Lift rocket in April, the Boca Chica facility has indeed been a hub of continuous activity. While the focus on advancing the Starship's design to new heights has been temporarily shifted due to repair and reinforcement work on the launch pad, there have still been intriguing developments behind the scenes that have captured the attention of Starship enthusiasts and observers. One aspect that has garnered significant interest is Elon Musk's updates on the progress of Starship. Musk has been known for his active presence on social media, particularly Twitter, where he often shares updates and insights about SpaceX's projects. These updates provide valuable information and offer a glimpse into the company's ongoing efforts. Intriguing images of Starship hardware has been shared by SpaceX and enthusiastic observers. These images showcase various components of the Starship, including prototypes, test articles, and other equipment related to the spacecraft's development. The analysis and interpretation of these images by enthusiasts and experts contribute to the understanding of the design evolution and the potential capabilities of the Starship. SpaceX has demonstrated a rapid iteration process in the development of the Starship, with each prototype and test flight contributing valuable data and insights. This iterative approach allows the company to continuously refine and improve Starship's design based on real-world testing and feedback. What do you think of these changes? Let us know in the comment section below and make sure to like the video. Thanks for watching.